Hi guys, we take here at Blueberry Hill. So here we are, starting to build a structure for the living room. Uh, we're using all steel. We're doing three walls uh, made out of the cutout panels. Here I am welding the uh, six-inch C channel on top of the, I guess we'll call it a, the kitchen uh, container. Underneath me, that whole entire wall is going to disappear. It's going to be a post in the middle of the the wall, um, and we're going to weld panels on all three sides. Um, that'll basically mimic the, the structure of the, of the container. So here I'm just doing a, a panel patch for the uh, joint of the C-channels, uh, recycled one of the C-channel pieces. Uh, right underneath this is going to be where the post goes. There is a big frame section of the container that goes down uh, across here as well. And there I'm going to weld another C-channel going straight up from here which will be the center divider for the, uh, the front wall. Uh, the wall itself will be about seven and a half feet above the ceiling of the, this container. And uh, this will have a shed roof that runs up about two and a half feet up uh, on this wall. First, we're going to weld all the panels on it, and then we're going to make the shed wall on top of the kitchen area. So we have quite a few panels. So here I am actually cutting the uh, plasma cutting, the seven and a half foot sections that are become front wall. Um, I needed I believe about eight of these. Um, I didn't measure widthwise so we'll cut one of these in half or something to section it on the, the roof properly. But I made a little jig. You can see that little angled uh, two inch plate. I bent the crap out of it to uh, mimic the, the, the corrugations on the uh, panels. Made it pretty easy to follow it and uh, cut, cut the excess off. So this is a rinse and repeat kind of process. Uh, I'm not going to show you all the panels. This is just one of them. Um, then I use my uh, four horsepower Dewalt grinder to uh, make it all nice and smooth. Uh, and they'll be welded to the C channel that I showed you earlier. And to uh, uh, the main frame on the roof side is three by three inch angle iron. And uh, they'll be uh, on the inside of that welded up, seam welded, just like the container themselves. Should be very strong. So now I'm moving over to doing the corners, uh, the uprights uh, corners for the front wall. I'm just uh, we used uh, some of the C channel. You can see a plate on the, the left side of that thing. I basically spliced a couple of these together. I had one that was a solid, solid seven and a half foot section, roughly seven foot, um, and I uh, welded, seam welded it, and then I put the plate on. Um, it's compression strength. Uh, it's not a torsional strength, so it should be just fine. Anyway, I had Angie over here help me out. Uh, she's going to hold it in a minute, um, and I can tack weld everything. Um, all the corners and the frame sections are tack welded. The C-channel across the container, that's all already completed welded um, every couple three inches. So here's my, my assistant holding it while I'm going to tack it. Hopefully it's level. She's doing the leveling. <laughs> Yeah, welding in shorts is on uh, in short sleeve shirts. Always a good idea, right? Yeah, sure. It's just tack welding, no big deal. It was kind of windy too. Uh, you can see the, the smoke from the weld going pretty pretty quick to the left. So we we're up there. It was a couple of windy days, but no big deal. So this this uh, angle of video doesn't really show where I'm putting the angle iron, but I'm putting the angle iron all the way from the bottom beam on the side of the container. And uh, all the way up the wall here, and the, the uh, cutout panels are going to be recessed into that uh, angle iron, and uh, of course welded up, etc. So here I'm doing uh, just a tack weld to keep everything together, and then I'm going to do the frame sections, the upper roof sections uh, that you'll see in a minute.
Here I'm getting ready to put the frame, the angle iron on top of this, so I'm cutting off the little bit of excess. I made these over long just so they'd be nice and tight on the C channel. So once I cut this off, I'll throw the angle iron uh, across this uh, C channel. I'll call it a post, corner, or whatever. And then I'll uh, put it in the middle one, and I'm going to weld them up, tack weld them. And we're starting to see the frame of the living room. So I tack everything together. Uh, it's all temporary. I'm gonna make, come back and make everything, uh, especially the vertical weld. So I can do horizontal just fine with the uh, stick, but it's easier on the uh, the MIG. And over here, see me doing the uh, the other side of the container. These are all 20 foot sticks, by the way. So pretty pretty quick uh, work of it. Um, they're not overly heavy, heavy, but it's just awkward being up there. Never really felt totally comfortable, you know, 10 feet off the ground, hanging over the edge. Or anyway, here I am doing the uh, the corner stuff. Um, now we're going to come back the next day and do the side frame pieces out of the same angle iron. So with my uh, jib boom in action, here I am doing the uh, framing for the roof. It's a 2 by 12 pitch roof, so it's uh, roughly was it seven, eight, 18 feet on the top side there and slopes down to 7.5 feet above the the second uh, set of containers. Here I am on the top. I'm, I'm only able to uh, put a clamp on the top because I didn't want to move the welder back and forth. Um, here you see the actual boom in action. I forgot to get the video running for the other side, but anyway, um, it worked pretty good. There's a good slope here, so I had to be a little more careful. Um, I have a Harbor Freight winch. I think it's a thousand pound or 800 pound winch or something rather. Um, it does a pretty good job. I just had to position the uh, the tractor properly so I can get it up there and I forgot to put a rope on the corner of this little section as well as a rope on the tie straps because once I let the uh, stress of the, the the weight of the angle iron off the uh, the winch I couldn't get the hook off you'll see that in a minute so I had to uh, sling it and hook it anyway you'll see that I'm going to tie off the uh, the angle iron to the uh, other frame section. Then I'm going to winch it back up to the uh, the two-story uh, section. And what I probably don't show is I run back up there on the two-story to position the angle iron on the, the corner. I clamp it, and then I run back down here, and I'm going to uh, clamp the bottom section and then weld it up. So now I have to figure out how to get the hook off the uh, tie straps and uh, normally I put a, a rope on one of these uh, tie straps so I can pull the thing down. Um, the hooks kind of wiggled through the, uh, they're, they're hoisting tie straps and so I had to figure out how to unhook them and uh, get the damn thing off the, the angle iron. Fun! Small little details. So I'm fishing for the uh, tie straps, get those in, unhook it and then I can undo the winch and uh, get the hook down to the ground. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. We'll talk at you later. Stay tuned for wall erections.